So before we get into the video, I wanted to talk a little bit about this company called Dossier. I have featured their products on my videos before, if you guys were unaware. If you are unaware, I'm about to talk about them now so you guys can listen. Dossier is a perfume company and they make replicas of popular perfumes, but for a fraction of the cost. So if you're broke, well, let's not put that negativity in the air. If you're waiting on your blessings and you want to smell good, you want to have good hygiene, you just want to stand out when you walk into a room, then I definitely recommend Dossier. I have a code in my description so you guys can check it out. Today's scent that I am featuring in my video is floral lavender. I personally am into more floral sweet scents and this one is inspired by a YSL perfume so that's amazing. I sprayed the cards so that I know how they smell and this one definitely smells like a flower. This one smells so good. The vanilla in it makes it super sweet but the florally scent makes it kind of strong so I feel like this is going to be a good scent for my new personal style. <laughs> Honestly, I feel like a scent to match your style is top tier like top tier everyone's gonna notice you when you walk in the room they're gonna smell you and they're gonna see you like come on now so if you're looking to get into any sense I definitely recommend the floral lavender by dossier like I said I have a code in my description box for you guys to get the money off of your first dossier perfume so bye let's get into the video what I really want to show you guys is the back of my jacket, which looks like this. <laughs> I did not mean to drop it low for y'all like that. I'm really trying to show you my jacket. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, this is the jacket. I don't know. It's from some. It's some coach's jacket that he gave away at the thrift store. I got it for so cheap. And that brings me to where we're going today. Today I'm going to be shopping at the Goodwill bins. I'm just going to show you what you can get for however much I spent today at the Goodwill bins. I'm going to be shopping at the Goodwill bins or the Goodwill outlet, whatever you want to call it. Basically, it is a place where they just dump a bunch of clothes in the bins and you pick through them. They wrote rotate the stuff out here I think like every one or two hours they don't do it that often but I know there's some bins that are really really large and they rotate the clothes out every 30 minutes or something like that <sighs> Okay, I have to catch my breath. I want to stay for one rotation. So what I'm going to try to do is go see when they're rotating, when they start rotating the clothes out. Or when I'm done looking through the first round of clothes, I'm going to visit the Goodwill store that's right next to there just to like take up my time. <laughs> but I'm not really going to get anything there unless I see something that I absolutely want. Because the point of my video today is so that I can save money because I'm trying to save money. Okay. With that being said, I also am going through a personal style development phase right now. I never really developed a personal style. I did notice that I would follow trends very often and my choice of clothing would kind of like fluctuate between a lot of different styles, honestly. And I don't want to say I have a specific style or aesthetic. I just want to develop a personal style. So only wearing clothing that I really like and that really fits me and makes me feel good. And Instead of wearing clothes that's not me you know so yeah that makes thrifting a little bit different now because I have to think do I actually like this am I actually gonna wear this can I do something with it or am I just buying it because that's what I'm seeing online you know you know not gonna lie y'all I changed my outfit I put on my baby fat fit because overall I just want to be comfortable and cute and this is comfortable and cute so yeah and it kind of matches the inspiration of my personal style which is more 2000s and 90s looks and silhouettes of clothing so I'm super excited to go thrifting today with this new mindset it's like it's like a new experience overall honestly um how much time do I have left on my timer literally four minutes and I spent most of my time trying to change my outfit so I didn't get to eat anything I'm super freaking hungry and and the way my fridge and my groceries is set up, I did not buy any snacks. Oh, I have some munchies, which are probably gonna make my stomach hurt a little bit, but I'm gonna eat them because I'm hungry. And I'm just gonna take my bag. 
bag. I don't even gotta change my bag because this this is fine. And I need like a big bag because I have water bottles in here for when I get thirsty. And I also have my snack in there, but I wanna eat my snack now. So yeah, I'll see you guys at the thrift store. set up who this i set up like a little sewing corner or whatever but i'm gonna film my haul here and i also got new glasses and they're so cute i love them they make me want to change my whole entire personality type honestly like my not my personality but like my exterior image whatever 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 but yeah my style is changing anyway so the glasses just kind of added to that honestly but we're gonna get straight into it no introduction needed honestly you already know what the heck is gonna happen so i'm gonna start with all the scarves that i got because that's what's on the top of the pile so firstly i got this white scarf we got this white scarf it has like some shininess in it that's why i liked it then i also got a black one because i left my other black one in my friend's car and i never got it back and i really liked that one because it was like a stretchy slinky material so it works really well with tops with tying it as a top and then i got this one which is a little bit smaller probably just gonna use it for my hair or a top as well because yeah that's why i get scarves honestly to wear my tops and then i got this pink one which probably can't be worn as a top because it's kind of see-through um if i put like something underneath i think i can get away with that but yeah new scarves Okay, so I don't know if I mentioned this already, but I am shopping for my personal style, not trends, not what people are gonna like, not what Instagram's gonna like, not what I'm gonna wear because I'm scared of people judging me, no. I'm dressing for myself and only for myself. So with that being said, I feel like my style is changing a lot and I'm getting a lot more pieces from the thrift that I usually would just kind of skip past. And I also have a lot of sewing projects because most of these clothes that I thrifted, I need to alter somehow, some way, some shape or form. 
But we're gonna get into like the more girly pieces because I used to have a really, my style used to be very tomboyish and I do still like that style when I wanna be comfortable and casual, but I don't know. I also wanna be very feminine too. So that explains these next things that are coming up. Firstly is this white slip dress. It is too big for me so I'm gonna have to either make it into a smaller slip dress or change the whole entire silhouette of the dress altogether. but I think I'm just gonna make it smaller honestly because I don't feel like doing all that so I'm just gonna take in the sides and maybe the back and see how that works out and I also haven't tried any of these on yet so I don't know but next I got this little corset. If it doesn't fit me right, I might just sell it on my Depop or take in the side so that it fits me right because I think this is so pretty. And red is a color that goes super well with my skin tone, as you can see. So yeah, I gravitate towards red and neutral colors as y'all will see, honestly. Next I have this red slip dress that has hearts on it, which is so freaking cute, but it is ripped right here. So I have to repair that and I also have to make it smaller because this is a size extra large and I'm a size size extra small but i feel like with dresses it's kind of easy to take them in so i didn't mind it and i probably will also make it shorter so that it fits me how i want it to because i am only five one five two on a good day next y'all don't laugh at me i'm gonna i have plans for this that's why i got it but i got this i would not wear this because it has cups and all that and the cups look so ugly honestly but i wanted to use this fabric to make a top so i think i'm gonna make a top that comes straight across because i really like how that silhouette looks on my body especially with my collarbones it's gonna end up as a top like this Ooh, maybe even like a cute little tube top moment i think that would be cute or even a skirt but it's see-through so that's why i wanted to just like make it a top Next, I have this like, it's kind of zebra print, but I don't really know. It's a halter top. It looks super psychedelic, I feel like, and trippy. I like that, and I like that it's brown. And I feel like I would wear this with a skirt, probably. It's a bit see-through as well. I've been super into like mesh and all that, so yeah. Okay, this is kind of like out of my comfort zone, but honestly, on other people, when I was doing my research and inspiration for my personal style, I'm really into 90s looks. I'm really into 90s runway looks as well. So I try to incorporate those kind of silhouettes into my style now. But this sweater vest is very, very 90s. I'm gonna try to insert pictures of the outfits that inspired me to get these items so you guys can also see what is influencing my personal style because I feel like that would be interesting too. So I'm, hopefully I can find some cute outfits that style a little vest like this. And this is like a little boy's church vest, but I love it. And it's also pinstripe and the back it's kind of like this nylon material but i think this is gonna be super that was kind of rude i think this is gonna be great with the skirt that i have to show you guys later i also got this little tank top i'm gonna cut a little slit right here so i can um not be so restricting on my neck and i really just like how that looks in tank tops and it's a little children's tank top but it's gonna fit me like a crop top and it has the number 18 on it 18 doesn't really have any significance to me but it was cute and red so yeah i also got this little blue top i don't really know if this fits into my personal style but i do think it's cute and the detail on it is cute and depending on how this fits me because if it fits me very well i will like it more but if it doesn't i might crop it because i feel like that would be that would make it cute like that would make me wear it more but yeah it's this a little it's this adidas top with a little collar i think it'll look cuter crop this now that i'm looking at it i really don't like this at all and the colors don't go well with my skin tone it makes me look very dull and dry so yeah i'm probably gonna sell this on my depop but i think it's cute in theory if it was different colors before i got it it was like a old lady top because it had shoulder pads and everything in it but i cut the shoulder pads out and it also comes with these little strings so i feel like with someone with more of a fair skin tone this would look better on them than it does on me i feel like the colors don't really go well with my Skin. But what does go off my skin I feel like is green and I got this top which I'm gonna alter into a more fitted long sleeve top or maybe even a tank top with some arm cuffs because that would be cute too. This is definitely gonna be flipped and altered. I just don't know how yet. I might just make it into like a little cropped long sleeve but fitted or like I said, a little tank top or something. 
this is so cool i feel like this is definitely out of my comfort zone i usually don't gravitate towards pattern pieces or anything like this but i feel like this is so cool it has so many different patterns and colors yet they all go together very well and it still kind of keeps like a neutral feel although it has blues and greens in it and it has these little bedazzled studs on it so i feel like that's super amazing this i am going to alter because it's a size extra large and i'm going to alter it to make it a tight fitted long sleeve top on me so i'm probably gonna have to take off the sleeves and like redo all that or just sew it in the back so that it fits tighter um on my body but i really love this honestly like i think this is something that is super fun and out of my comfort zone nextly i've been super into crochet crochet so i got this crochet top i love how this top has this side detail on it i honestly was planning to wear this as like a beach cover-up or a pool cover-up or a dress with like a fitted slip dress underneath because i feel like it can fit me as a dress um so yeah i think i'm gonna wear it as a dress or if i put a small crop top and a skirt under that could be cute too so yeah i think this is a super super nice piece honestly i found some good stuff this depending on how it fits on i might sell this on my depop or i might crop it i don't really know where i was going with this i just know that i was trying to get into more of a feminine vibe but this doesn't really i don't know it's just really not something i would wear um i don't know it's giving picnic i feel like but it's also kind of churchy at the same time i really don't like churchy clothes um so maybe if i crop it i think i liked this and all that well We'll see i don't really like it honestly this is kind of similar but better because it has less um cottage core vibes this one is just like a lightweight button down top that i'm gonna wear over stuff and the sleeve has the cute detail on it and i feel like the sleeve starts really low which might be cute might not be and it also has little ties on it and it's more of a cream color on camera it's showing up kind of white but it's more of a cream color which i also noticed that goes with my skin more than pure white a cream ish guys i'm talking about colors so much because i watched this youtube video about colors and how colors are really important when it comes to finding your personal style and clothes that match your skin tone it basically changes how you look and yeah that's why i keep stressing the colors because I do think that colors are important in finding your personal style because not every color looks good on every skin tone. Or the colors might look good on you, but there might be colors that look better on you. So yeah. Next button down shirt. Ooh, this one looks super pretty on camera. It has these little, I don't even know what it is, but it makes it look shiny. Um, and it, this is the Victoria's Secret top. So I'm pretty sure it's a sleep shirt, but if, yeah, I'm probably just gonna wear it as a regular shirt over crop tops and shorts and stuff like that. Cause it's summer and if I want to wear like a super small top I can just cover up with one of my butt nails I also have this button down which is not on a hanger because I didn't have a white hanger and if it was on a different color hanger it would have bothered me so I just didn't put it on a hanger but this one's another lightweight over over shirt that's what I'm gonna start calling them because that's what I'm gonna wear them as this one can be worn as a dress because it's honestly long enough for me at least. Or it can be wear worn closed with some shorts or something. But I like I like the texture. That's why I got it honestly. It has this like crumbled texture. Okay. We're actually nearing the end, guys. So then we're gonna get into doing the before and afters. Or I'm gonna insert it in the haul. I don't know what how I'm gonna edit this video yet, but yeah. Packers sweatshirt. I'm probably gonna crop this, take the hem up all the way to here a little bit, or the top of the green because i just think it would look better on me crop than it does big but yeah this is a super heavy duty um sweatshirt and i've been really wanting more sweatshirts to wear to work but if i crop this i'm not gonna be able to wear it work so i don't even know why i said that but yeah this is how the logo looks inside i think this is super nice and i mean this green isn't the best green for my skin color but it still goes so that's all that matters lastly oh 
Why are my clothes being rude today? Okay, so lastly, I have this bomber jacket. I love this jacket, guys. I'm gonna wear this with crop tops and shorts, probably. And maybe if I wanna make a dress more casual, I would wear it with like a mini dress or a mini skirt or something like that. But this is the jacket. It says Amelia's on the back. I'm not really sure where this is from or what the meaning of it is. I just think it's super nice and stylish, so that's why I got it. This is what it has on it, yeah. So yeah, guys! I forgot to show you guys the bottoms that I got in the other part of the this video, but I got this leather skirt, which I am gonna be making significantly shorter so that it could fit my body type better. I feel like long skirts that come up to here just don't fit me very well, but if it was short like this, it would. So I'm just gonna cut it, honestly, and see how that goes. But yeah, this is really cute. And it has pockets, which is kind of cool. This is like one of my favorite items that I found. And it's this skirt. It has these pocket detailings, zipper detailing, like such good detailing on this skirt. And I love the material. I'm pretty sure this is an athletic skirt because the brand is Athletica, but I love this as a mini skirt. This is so adorable, honestly, truly. In love with the fit, the quality, the look, everything about these jeans is just freaking beautiful. It fits me literally perfectly. Like, can I ask for anything more? Maybe a little bit more booty poppiness, but I like, I like this. And the bottoms fit me literally all the way down. Not gonna show my toes though, not for free. I'm really into these. These are really cute. They're like the perfect amount of bagginess for my body type because I am super petite. So things that are too baggy don't look right on me. And this is literally perfect. I love this. And the blue is really nice. Okay, for these, I was expecting them to fit a lot shorter. I honestly might cut it to underneath the pocket because I don't really like where it stops on my legs. I, I know that's the style, like the 2000s style of it, but I don't know if I'm rocking with it. But yeah, I didn't think these were gonna fit me because they're a children's size, but they honestly fit my body so well. What the heck? I look thick. I'm trying to get the brand for you guys. It's Shemadron, let me zoom in. So yeah, these are some Sean John shorts that I found. Zoom in on the booty real quick. I think they're cute. You know what? I think it might grow on me, just not with this top. Like with a little t-shirt, some sneakers. We might have like a little look. I, I just wish it was more like, I just wish it wasn't so tight on the bottom. I, th I wish they were like looser, but I guess, I guess this is what we're going with guys. Hey y'all, this is the skirt that I was talking about that I said I was going to wear with the vest. I am going to be turning this into a low-waisted mini skirt, so it's going to look kind of like this, kind of. There's only so much I can do to show you right now, but yeah, it's going gonna, it's gonna to look kind of like this. With the vest, I think that would be super cute because the pinstripes are like opposite directions, which I love about this. I think it's really nice. I just, it, it needs to be altered a, a lot. I got these really pretty Adidas pants, like the color. It's a lilac and a purple color. I I love the colors. I never would usually go for colors like this, but I think it's so nice. These are super long on me, honestly. Um, and they have like a little slit on the bottom, which is cute. So I think it's gonna still look good with sneakers. But yeah, I like I like stuff like this. It's super comfortable, comfortable, casual. It's giving Aaliyah. <laughs> I got these low rise jeans, which are too big on me. So I'm just gonna sell them on my Depop. I don't think I like them enough to alter them, but I do think they're cute enough to sell, which is why I got them. This is how the back looks. And this is the logo on the back. It's like a bedazzled type of thing. I think these are so cute. So if this is your size, come and get it because it's not my size. <laughs> All right, I love how like untraditional this is, but it is kind of tight on me. Like I can only really button one button, but I think I'd rather button this bottom one than the top one Hold on. Yeah, I think dressed up this could be cute, but the fit is kind of bad because I have boobs and obviously like a little boy doesn't have boobs. So it doesn't have like the shape that it needs to um, accommodate boobs. Or maybe if I wear it like this, that kind of fixes it, right? I don't know, I have to style it because I do think it's cute though. I think I fixed my problem. I, th I like how like impractical it is, how unique 
you wouldn't see a lot of people wearing this as a top. Okay, so I'm definitely gonna crop this top because it, it's giving mom right now. It's giving mom vibes, especially with these jeans. But I feel like if I crop it, it'll be giving like chic, um, I don't know, like chic vibes, you know? Now it's like, ooh. And the back is open, so it's super cute. Definitely gonna have to crop this. Thankfully, the red corset fits. This is, oh my gosh, so freaking cute, bro. So cute. The details in it is amazing. It had these little clips that you clip to the stockings, but I cut them off because I don't plan on wearing this as lingerie. I plan on wearing it as a top, like so. This is how the back looks. So here's the way I would tie my scarf as a top. Scarves, you can get super creative and they're honestly very versatile. So they can really be any kind of top you want them to be. Yeah, this one I tied like this. I think this would be cute with either a mini skirt or some shorts. Even that gray skirt maybe would go with this. Or like I said, some shorts, but something short. I don't think long pants or specifically these don't go with it. I think um, tighter pants would look better with this, but yeah. Okay, this is the white slip dress. It looks like a freaking nightgown on me, but I am going to make it to where I can wear this out and it looks elegant and fits me well like this. Hopefully it's not see-through. If it is, I'm just gonna have to blur this part out. But in person, it is slightly see-through, not even gonna lie to you. But yeah, once we fix her up, she'll be nice and cute. I might add like some detail. Actually, I think I just want it to be a plain slip dress. So I'm just gonna take in the sides a lot. <laughs> so that it can fit me and then make it shorter. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you guys want more videos of me figuring out what my personal style is, shopping for my personal style, outfits based on my new personal style. Anything that you guys want, I will do it, honestly. I really do hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm trying to do more thrifting videos because I noticed that's what you guys like. And I'm also trying to do more sewing videos because I noticed that's what you guys like as well. So again, thank you guys so much for watching. You guys are literally amazing and I will see you guys in my next video. Also, follow me on Instagram because my feed will be changing very soon as soon as I start altering these clothes and getting my fits together. The ball is going to start rolling, guys. It's, it's starting to roll, but it's rolling very slowly right now, so bear with me.